What's going on, people? FP2000 come back at you with another figure review. This time, I'm going to be doing the X Plus 30 centimeter Godzilla 2001 from his um, iconic appearance in the cool film Godzilla Monster King Ghidra Giant Monsters Are All Attack. Um, I'm going to be doing the Diamond reissue because that's the only figure I have. Um, I don't have the original Japanese release, I just have the um, Diamond reissue that came out. Um, from February of last year. Um, so this is the box. Let's get into the box right quick. Um, and just like the original Japanese release, it has the um, awesome figure art. Um, it's all 30 centimeters, at least most 30 centimeter boxes have. But the figure right here, as well as his face in the background, S Plus Garage Toy, um, with his name Godzilla and the Japanese language title of, of the film, um, 2001. And the PX um, logo signifying that this is a diamond reissue figure. Um, that's pretty much it with the box. Put your little drawing on the back. We all know, been there, done that, that's it. So, let's get into the figure right here. This is a cool, cool, cool figure. Um, he stands at least around 11 inches tall because he's more hunched over, kind of like he was in the film. Um, diamond did a really good job with this. However, there were some problems in his early infancy. With this being the second wave, there were problems. Um, this figure uh, was released along the same time as the Gargantuas. And as, as most of us know, um, they both had some kind of problems. Uh, the Gargantuas had, uh, the sculpt was fine with the Gargantuas, but the paint jobs were um, less impressive. Um, with the um, GMK, um, it was fine, but they had a little um, issue with the whole um, the way they painted the gums, but I get that, and I get that later on. Um, but other than that, this is a really cool figure, very menacing, um, um, and obviously it's the GMK, by far the most evil and most intimidating and most menacing Godzilla ever in, in the history in the franchise history. Um, and they re really done this done this figure really really good. Um, with this being the third film in the Millennium series. Um, they did something different with the suit. Obviously, everything is somewhat exaggerated with his claws and his toes being, being very, very sharp. Um, gone is his um, tree bark-like skin that Godzilla has come to have over the years. It's more... The GMK has more of a... Um, more um, Features of a crocodile. His skin is more like um, rugged, like a crocodile skin. Um, and the major difference is his eyes. He has no pupils, of course, because he's possessed in the film, um, to give him more of a scary appearance. Um, and with his teeth being large right here, very sharp, and um, everything about this figure is spot on. Even with the um, problems with them, with the paint job that comes to the gums. Other than that, this is a really, really cool figure. Really, really cool figure. Um, I don't see this figure getting a lot, lot, lot of love. Um, most of the people talk about when it comes to this figure is either 25 centimeter and the gigantic series. But I want to give some love to this figure today. And I really do love this figure. I really, really do. As far as the paint job on the gums is concerned, um, if you do have this figure, the diamond ray issue, um, what you can do is right here. What I did was I just applied some pink um, and some red colors, some paint, and just mix it together and just paint the tongue. And as you can see, it kind of offsets the gums a little bit better. So if you got this figure and you want to um, make it a little bit better, I'm by no means a model expert or anything like that, but I did apply some um, color to the tongue to make it a little, little bit better because I was, I was too not impressed with how they did with the whole gums thing. But after I applied some um, color to the tongue, it was a whole lot better in my opinion. So maybe y'all can apply this same technique to yours if you do are able to get one. Um, especially if the down um, reissue. But other than that, this is a really, really cool figure. No articulation. The tail can move just a little bit, but not that much. But um, that's pretty much it as far as the, um, the figure is concerned. It's a really, really cool figure. Um, I don't see him out there that much, a lot, uh, along with the other Diamond Ray issue um, figures. This one, along with the Gargantuas, um, Mechagazo Mecha 74. Um, Gore Source, um, you don't see a lot of them out there. I guess a lot of them, a lot of people snatch them up real, real good. So, um, if you do able to find one for a good price, I highly suggest you, you um, pick them up. Um, but for size comparison, let's bring in his big brother. You know who was coming, so let's bring his big brother. 
Of course, we all know who uh, who this is, and if you're if you're a fan of my channel, you already know who this is. But in case you're new, the the gigantic series GMK right here. Um, by far my favorite version of GMK when it comes to X Plus. But I will say, when it comes to the 30 centimeter, nothing gets the 25 centimeter. But um, the one thing I say, because um, I say this Godzilla, this gigantic series Godzilla is perfect in every way. But the one thing I would say that the 30 centimeter has over the um, gigantic series is the face. I believe they nailed the face perfectly more so than the gigantic series. Of course, this is more stylized. It's not suit accurate or whatever, but I really believe that they do that they did nail the face better on a 30 centimeter versus the gigantic series. Um, and as far as compared to 25 centimeter, I think they both the 25 and the 30 they do represent um, the Godzilla well. They both are very suit accurate. The 25 centimeter is more hunchback like this, like it was in the film, but also. Um, he also had this pose too in the in the film also, so I believe this is just as too accurate as the 25. Um, but either way, this is a really cool figure. I highly recommend it if you're able to find one for a good price. I highly suggest you pick them up. Now, as far as the film's concerned, Godzilla Mothra King gave the giant monsters all attack. I'm gonna be honest with you. When I first saw this, um, it came out in 2001. I was like maybe 24, 25. I was not, I was not impressed. I, I wasn't. Um, they hyped it up as like the best Godzilla film to date at, at the time. And when I saw it, I wasn't impressed. I was like, oh, wow. Uh, it, it was just, I was like, meh, it, it wasn't. I was like, I've seen better. This one of the films that the more I watch it now, as I've gotten older and really appreciate it for what it is, I, I kind of like it even more. I kind of love it even more and more and more the more I watch it. Uh, I still stand by some of the reasons why I didn't like it back then today um and one of the main reasons I, I don't like the film well this one of the things i don't like what they did in the film is how they downgraded the characters of martha and king Ghidra. now of course the purpose of this film is to have godzilla presented as the ultimate monster as the most evil and um worst godzilla ever and i believe and i still say they, they didn't have to downgrade martha and king Ghidra's characters to um to present that theory. Um, Martha doesn't really do that much. King Ghidra um, was scaled down so he could be on the same level as Godzilla. And we all know King Ghidra has always been a monster that has towered over Godzilla, but still somehow Godzilla was able to beat him in their other films. Um, so I really, I really don't like that, you know, as far as that, what they did to the characters, because I'm a huge fan of King Ghidra. A little bit of Mothra. So I felt like if they were still to catch them, like their Heisei counterparts, maybe their Shoah counterparts, and still have Godzilla go through them easily like, like he did with these um, counterparts, that Godzilla would have been even more threatening, more menacing, and more intimidating. But however, I do love the film for the concepts that they tried to um, push out there. Like seeing Mothra and King Ghidra on the same team to fight against Godzilla was a very cool and unique concept. I, I, really, I really do dig it. Like I said, it's one of the main reasons why I come to enjoy the film more and more and more the more I watch it. Um, but it's kind of interesting because it wasn't supposed to be this way. Um, originally, Godzilla was supposed to take on the team of Angerus, Varan, and um, Baragon. Of course, Baragon was the only monster from the three to make it into the final cut of the film. But it makes me, it makes me really wonder how that could have really played out. Um, especially as far as Angus and Verona is concerned. Very underrated characters, very underrated monsters. So it makes me really wonder how things would have turned out. Um, of course, Godzilla probably would have won, you know, um, as he did so easily in the final cut. But um, I still think it would have been a very, very inter interesting um, ordeal to see those three monsters go up against Godzilla. Um, with that being said, I still do love the film. I really, really do. Like I said, I'm still not over the fact that they they downgraded Mothra and King Ghidra's characters to um to um to go up against Godzilla um, because Godzilla has faced monsters even bigger than him. He was still able to go through them with ease, like Violante, like King Ghidra um, in their 1991 film. Um, so I felt like, you know, they, they would have kept them as their bigger, more powerful, old school counterparts 
it would have been a better, better, better film. But even still, it still is a good film. I'm not bashing the film. I just feel like things could be done differently to make it a better film. But that's just my opinion. You know, I mean, I still love the film. I still think it's an epic film. It is, it is by far my favorite film in the entire Millennium series. And I really do enjoy how they employ those unique concepts um, to um, tell the story. I, re I really, really do. Um, but other than that, this is a great, great um, um, uh, figure to have. Um, if you can find it for a good price, I highly suggest you do so. Um, he's worth adding to your collection. He, he, I mean, I know he's easy to overlook between the detail of the 25 centimeter and the gigantic series, but he still is a good figure, a perfect figure to add to your, your collection, especially if you're a GMK fan like myself. Other than that, I highly recommend this figure. If you can get, get him for a good price, um, if you can track one down, please do so. A couple, couple plugs in, check out the Godzilla Collectors Facebook group on Facebook, Facebook, excuse me, the X Plus Collectors um, Facebook group on Facebook, and the Kaiju Brotherhood on Facebook. Check out Richard Iso's um, channel for um, Godzilla X Plus figure reviews and, and other reviews. Um, check out his website, freshvinylhq.com, as well as check out kaijuaddicts.com to find out more about um, X Plus and all these great figures um, that you see and and how you can be a part of this wonderful, wonderful hobby right here. Other than that, that's it. The 30 centimeter um, Godzilla um, 2001 Diamond Ray issue from Godzilla Martha King Ghidra Giant Monster All Out Attack. If you have any questions or any comments, holler at me in the comment section or holler at me at, on Facebook via Mark Calloway and we'll go from there. That's pretty much it. I thank y'all for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see y'all again on the next figure and movie review. Y'all have a good day.